swipe it onto their face like this. Oh! Liquid blading technology. What does that mean? That sounds kind of scary. Oh my god, I look like Kill Hotel. I missed! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing some more viral viral tiktok slash instagram products because i've seen some of these things on instagram some of these things on tiktok some of them on both the color changing lip peel thing i am so excited to try if you have seen any more other viral products please tag me on tiktok actually because a lot of the time i go through my mentions and i see you guys tagging me and stuff which is really helpful but yeah let me know down below if there's anything else you want me to test and let's get into it so the first thing that i'm going to speak about quickly before i get on to putting some makeup on my face is actually wild deodorant and this little portion Ooh, this little portion is sponsored by wild and i have got a discount code for you guys which i will put on the screen they have got a new limited edition gold case which is this one here which i'll show you in a sec and they've also got some festive scents as well so i did actually do a sponsorship with wild a couple months ago which came at a time where i had seen them advertised everywhere and i still get a lot of adverts for them on my tiktok and on my instagram this is what the package looks like so it's in a recyclable box so this is the limited edition gold case i've actually got my name engraved on mine and the new scent that i've got is the pomegranate and pink peppercorn it smells like a candle. It smells like the type of candles that you put out at Christmas time, but not as like in your face. So you just want to make sure that the case is, there we go, twisted all the way down to the bottom. You pinch these little bits on the side, pull that bit off. You take the lid off of this and these are actually compostable, like the little cartons that it comes in. So you literally just pop this on there like that and then you take your case and put it back on and then your deodorant is ready to go. So if you didn't know already, Wild is actually a natural deodorant. It's made of all natural ingredients. It's got shea butter in there, so it's really nice and moisturizing on your armpits. It's a really nice creamy formula, but I've actually been using this since me and James went to Greece in September. I had a Wild deodorant and I thought, okay, I'm gonna give it a go because my dad and my brother both use it. And my dad did actually give me one of the little mini ones to take on holiday because they make these little um, miniature versions as well. So I put one of these in my beach bag and then I also brought my um, my big one with me as well because this was the case that I had originally, this nice sort of like turquoise color. And while I was in Greece, I was so unbelievably impressed of how well the deodorant works. I know that for some people with natural deodorants, they have a bit of an adjustment period while your body sort of detoxes of the aluminium that's in a regular antiperspirant. And so while that is sort of detoxing, some people do find that they sweat like a little bit more than normal, but that shouldn't last more than two weeks. And for me personally, I found that I didn't really have an adjustment period. And honestly, since that trip, I have not looked back and I can swear to you, I have not used a single other deodorant since I started using this because it is that good. And I think the gold case, like this would make a really nice little stocking stuffer. St a what? Stocking stuffer? stocking stuffer and they do have lots of other scents that you can choose from as well one of my personal favorites is actually just the fresh cotton and sea salt one because it's a very very subtle smell and it's very gentle and it stops me smelling of bo which is what everyone wants is it not like i said i do have a discount code which i'll put on the screen which gets you 20 percent off and i will leave that also down below and i will leave a link down below as well in case you guys want to check it out right let's zoom you in and let's put some makeup on by the way guys just a little life lesson for you this is what happens when you have a spot and it's not ready to pop and you try and squeeze it and you squeeze it way too hard and I've now got almost a bruise on my face. Don't do that. So this first product is the L'Oreal CC C'est Magique Anti-Redness Skin Enhancer. I actually saw Rady talking about this on her Instagram, or not talking about it, she did an Instagram reels with this. And actually it's on her TikTok as well, but I saw it come up on my Instagram the other day and it is supposed to adjust to your skin tone. I'm very skeptical of products like this because they don't really adjust to your skin tone. They usually just have a bit of pigment in them that when you sort of blend it into your skin, the little like pigment beads get burst and then it changes color. And it's usually just one standard color and people are like, oh my God, it adjusted to my skin tone. However, I don't think this would work on somebody with darker skin. It's got SPF 20, it says that it gives you 24 hour hydration. And it also says, uh, smart pigments with transform on contact with skin, it helps conceal the appearance of redness. So I'm hoping it can help me out. So let's some on so it looks kind of white on camera but it's a pale green color yeah you can i can actually see the little bits of pigment in it i don't know if you can see but it's got like little bits that look kind of grainy in it so let's see if it yep there we go as you blend it in those little pigment sort of beads 
seem to burst and it adapts to your skin tone which it clearly doesn't because it's too dark <laughs> pretty much all of my fake tan has worn off at this point i've got a little bit still on my neck but let's see if it can conceal this redness because it still looks pretty nice yes yeah, so the more you buff it in the darker it actually seems to get i'm gonna have to bronze up my neck do you know what it's actually a really nice finish it looks really nice but it doesn't have much coverage. You can still definitely very much see the redness here. Yeah, so this is the type of product that you want to either use your fingers or a brush for. I think if you were to use this with a beauty blender, it wouldn't really work because you need to sort of break those little pigment beads. I don't even know if that's what they're called, but do you guys get what I mean? If you do have a lot of active breakouts, it's probably not gonna cover them very well. You'd need a full coverage concealer. But it actually feels really nice. Like the texture of it is really lightweight. It doesn't feel too heavy. It's not too thick. I do actually like it, but it's definitely not one skin tone suits all because look at the color difference of my face and neck. I really don't want to put this on my face. I really, really, really don't want to use this, but I'm going to do it just for the video. So this has been going viral for ages. I've avoided it just because I don't know what it is about the videos of people putting this on. It just, it just gives me the feeling of like, fingernails down a chalkboard because it looks so dry. It's supposed to be a full coverage powder foundation. It just looks very cakey, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even need to give one particular example, I don't think, because I have seen so many people use this. Honestly, just typing, typing in TikTok, L'Oreal powder foundation, and it comes up with so many videos of people using this. So I've got the shade 120 vanilla and this is what it looks like. It does come with the brush, which I think is what gives me like what freaks me out. It just reminds me of the type of makeup that I used to put on when I was doing like school talent shows and stuff. I'm gonna take my powder brush and see how it works with just the brush because everyone seems to apply it with the sponge to get like super, super full coverage. So let's try it and see if it can cover these little scars up here just with the brush. Hmm, you know what, the color is actually all right. I thought it was gonna be way too dark. I recently had my eyebrows waxed and you can actually see <laughs> where the hair has been removed from above my eyebrow and then all the powders like clinging in the hairs that are on my forehead, like the little tiny little hairs. It's not as cakey as I thought with the brush, it's pretty nice. Let's see if I can cover this blemish with the sponge and I really, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is, just sponges with powder, just the texture of it is just freaking me out and I've got no idea why. I've seen people like swipe it onto their face like this. It's got really good coverage when you do that, I will admit. What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Does anyone else have this reaction? I don't know why I'm reacting like that. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. With any powder, if you apply it with a sponge, it is gonna give you more coverage than with a brush anyway, because you're like packing the product on. It has actually done a pretty decent job of covering that spot. Oh my God, I didn't conceal my under eyes. Yeah, let's put on a little bit of concealer. Obviously I've tried similar um, powder foundations in the past, like the MAC Studio Fix powder foundation. I did actually use that for years, but I would apply it with a brush just to add some extra coverage on top of my foundation. I wouldn't sort of use it to set my whole face. I would just use it in areas where I needed it for a bit more coverage. And then also the Fenty Beauty powder foundation, but uh, I've got to say this one feels a little bit thicker, like it's a little bit cakier, but also so the Fenty one doesn't really have as much coverage as this. Should we try it with a brush again on the other side of my face? The side that I apply with the brush doesn't look as thick with product, whereas this side does look pretty cakey. It has made my skin very matte, very um, smooth looking on camera. However, when you actually look at me, I do look a bit, a little bit cakey. So I've currently got a mixture of natural light from my window and also two soft boxes as well, just cause it's such a gloomy day. But hopefully you can see, I don't know, can you tell that it, it actually does look very smooth, but it just looks like quite a lot of makeup. You know what though? I would definitely use that again if I want a little bit of extra coverage, but I just wouldn't use it as my all over foundation. I'm just gonna add a bit of bronzer, blush and highlight and then I will be right back. Um, my eyebrow pen just exploded on me and it suddenly came out really, really dark. So eyebrows are a little bit questionable today. Oh, the next thing I'm so excited for. 
Oh, so this next product I actually saw on my TikTok and it came up this morning as I was scrolling through my For You page and I thought, I've got that product. So the TikTok was by Glam Makeup by Amina or Amina, I think it's Amina, is it Amina? And she is using the Makeup by Mario Master Metals eyeshadow palette, which I have tested before. I didn't use it like this. She literally has used it as like an eye paint. So that is what I'm gonna do. I have actually lost the little scrapey thing that came with it, but apparently you can use these wet or dry. They are absolutely stunning. In the UK, you can get this from Cult Beauty, but even just by itself, like, oh. But yeah, so he does have this little um, master metal manipulator, which is a mixing liquid. And so what you're supposed to do is scrape off a little bit of one of the shades, put it in here, mix it together, paint it on your lids. I lost the little scrapey spatula. So I'm just gonna use the back of my brush and sort of scrape some of this and she used quite a lot maybe that's where i went wrong last time i didn't use very much it just seems so like such a shame to just scrape off product though because i feel like i'm ruining it so I'm scraping i feel like i'm back in my chemistry lessons and i really don't want to be back there oh i've just flicked it all down my new jumper and i'm just gonna drip it into my little concoction two three four <gasps> I think last time I used way too much of the liquid and not enough of the actual product. Can you see this? Oh. Oh! The only thing is I'm curious about how this is gonna dry because what if it dries like creasy? I guess we will find out, but wow, this is looking pretty sick. It's kind of giving me Tin Man vibes just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because it's so reflective, it's kind of hard to actually see what I'm doing. I think I need a bit more. Do I need more? Yeah, maybe I need to mix even more into it because towards the edges, it's gone a bit sheer, but I can't actually tell if that's just the reflection. Okay, I'm now gonna leave my eyelid like this while it dries because I don't want it to crease. Okay, with the other side, I've just tried mixing in a little bit more of the actual pigment. Oh my God. Honestly, you could do the easiest cut crease in the world with this. Okay, so what I will say is don't go overboard with the mixing medium and you, if you do, use some more of the liquid eyeshadow. Also, some spots that you go over again, it can sort of remove a bit of what's underneath. So you don't wanna like mess around with it too much. They are pretty incredible. I just wanna try and wait for it to fully dry because I don't really wanna move my eyelids until it's dried. Oh, it does feel dry. It's dry, but it just feels a bit weird on my eyelids. Like it feels quite heavy, but oh well. I'm actually just gonna see if I can draw liquid liner over the top of this. So my eyeliner definitely did work over the top of it. Um, it's sort of mixed a little bit and has added a bit of a gold hue to my eyeliner. This I saw mostly on my Instagram actually. And the person that I saw try this on Instagram is Daniela Marken, or is it Marsan? Danielle Marsan. I'm really sorry if I said her name wrong, but her, video that she did of this on Instagram has got 7.5 million views and she is trying this Wonder Skin lip colour stuff. The original person that is trying this is somebody that I actually get tagged a lot on her TikTok of people saying that she looks like me. Okay, so this girl is called Erin Dugan Jerchak. I've just realised that I missed one of the products in my box that I wanted to test. I meant to put this on. I'm gonna do it anyway. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk has come back into fashion, but not as an eye base. People are using this to highlight their nose and their inner corners. So the person that I saw test this on TikTok was Ellie Zayla or Ellie Zayla. Her video has got 10.7 million views. And she is using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to highlight her inner corners, her brow bone, and down her nose. And then she just blends it out a tiny bit and it looks like her nose is fully snatched. It might not work over the top of my makeup. And let me just try and rub some of the highlighter off my nose already. Let's do a line there. Let's do a little dot here. I mean, I'd already powdered my face anyway because of the powder foundation, but let's also do a little bit on my brow bone and then also on my inner corners. Kind of looks like a cartoon character. Surprisingly blending out all right over the top of my powder. I mean, that did as I expected it to do. It looks a bit brighter under my eyes. Do the inner corners. I like that on my inner corners more than I thought I would. Normally I like some shimmer on my inner corners, but this just makes them look ultra bright. Blend it out a little bit on my nose, but I don't want to move it around too much. Mm, huh. It looks all right on my nose bridge, but on here it's almost pushed 
the product into the pores on my nose. Oh wait, there we go, did I sort of fix it? I think I blended it out too much, because look, now this bit just looks so pronounced. Um, but it looks pretty good down the bridge, I've got to admit. They also do other shades as well, and I've seen a couple other people test the more golden one if you've got deeper skin. It kind of works, but I guess that's kind of to be expected. It's almost like using a really bright concealer down the middle of your nose. I feel like I need to go back in and contour the end of my nose now, because I made it look too big. Let's do this lip thing. So it is the Wonder Skin Wonder Blading Lip Color liquid blading technology what does that mean that sounds kind of scary peel and reveal for perfect all day lip color and i've got the shade first kiss i've got no idea what shade this is i don't know if this is the same one that she used but oh i think it is because it looks bright red on the bottom so this is the strangest thing what's this liquid blading wipe away towel why is it called blading what is blading liquid blading huh it comes with this little towel Maybe that's to get it off. Apply two to three thick coats onto clean, exfoliated lips like a lip gloss. Ensure lips are completely covered and no skin is visible. Leave on for 10 to 45 seconds. The longer you leave it on, the more saturated your lip color will be. Mist activator one to two times to peel and reveal. Is this gonna stay in my lips all day? Because I've got places to be. This is what the product looks like. So it's very basic sort of packaging. And it does look blue. <laughs> It's said to do quite a thick layer, so I will do that. It smells quite kirkly. Oh my god, I look like Kill Hustle. I don't want to get it in my mouth. Yeah, it's quite an odd texture. What's wrong with a normal lip colour? Like, why do I have to go through this whole process? Okay, I can feel it drying, so I'm just going to sit here. Let's, now that it's like all on, I'm going to time 45 seconds. I can feel it drying on my lips. I swear I've seen something similar before. Uh, like Korean peel off lip colours. I missed! I just sprayed it all over my chin. Oh my god, I got it in my mouth. It tastes horrible. I don't want to get it in my mouth. Okay, somebody did not think this product through. Oh, oh my god. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god. It's a bit of a faff, isn't it? Get off. Oh. Ugh. I've got all bits of blue still stuck to my lips. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to get it in your mouth. I really don't want to spray that activator stuff again, but I can't get the little bits off. I'm going to spray it on my hand. Activator kind of tastes a bit sweet, but I just didn't want it in my mouth. Like, what is it? <laughs> okay. I've got it everywhere. Um, it does peel off that, honestly, that is, that was very strange. I didn't really like the whole experience <laughs> just because like, it's a bit of a pain to just get a pink lip stain. Can you not just use a normal lip stain? It is a really pretty color. It is transfer proof. Maybe not if you rub it fully because I do have a little bit of staining on my fingers, but that I was like rubbing it for ages trying to get the stuff off. Let me just take this clean finger and see if I can barely anything but it did work and it's a really pretty color it's not the type of color that i would normally go for it is actually really pretty and it did what it said it would do now that it's off like it feels really lightweight on my lips doesn't feel sticky it's just a little bit tricky to get it like perfectly even because the texture of the blue stuff was so thick you know what i'm gonna put a little bit of gloss over this because i think it will look really pretty with some gloss this is just the glossier gloss i would wear this color honestly i actually quite like it overall i think it looks quite nice actually just a little update it's a few hours later i've just eaten my dinner and this is what it's looking like it has clung to all these dry bits of skin around my top lip to be fair i did say to exfoliate your lips and i didn't do that step so i should have done that but my bottom lip wasn't even dry and it's still like gone really patchy and most of it's come off so it definitely doesn't last as long as like a regular sort of lip stain that sinks into your lips. Awesome. So that is me testing these viral Instagram slash TikTok products. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you've got any other products that you want me to test, let me know down below in the comments. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love to have you. And don't forget to check out Wild as well. My discount code is on the screen. It gets you 20% off and I will leave the link down below. I'm now just going to answer a question of the day. Today's question comes from Carolina Hildebrandt. I'm sorry if I just said your name wrong. For my next tattoo, I've been thinking of getting my dog ears in very thin lines. That is such a cute idea. Question of the day, what is on your wish list this year and when are you gonna put up your decorations and tree? So I don't know if you guys have noticed, I do have a little Christmas tree behind me here. However, I'm yet to get my Christmas decorations out the loft, but I'm definitely gonna do it this week because it's December. How is it December? I need to get them out the loft ASAP. 
because we normally put our tree up on the 1st of December, but I'm not actually here on the 1st of December. I think this video is going up on the 2nd, and so I'm probably gonna put them all up on the 2nd of December. Tree, decorations, everything. This room, I'm gonna deck out with Christmas stuff, and I cannot wait. And in terms of what's on my wish list this year, um, I've mostly just asked for, I don't know, like cozy stuff, slippers, pajamas, anything sort of like food related, like restaurant vouchers or anything. A, a specific pair of sunglasses from Privé Revo because I had these sunglasses and they were my absolute favorite and I lost them and I've honestly turned the whole house upside down. I think I must have left them somewhere. And so honestly, it's been like nearly a year now of me searching for them. So I'm just gonna ask for a new pair. I'm just excited to hopefully move my family this year um, and eat some good food. That's all I want, really. Okay, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.